children, you are aware that there are thousands of words in any language. But not all words have the same job. For example, some words express action. Other words express a thing. Other words join one word to another word. These are the building blocks of the language. Think of them like the parts of a house. When we want to build a house, we use concrete to make the foundations or base. We use bricks to make the walls. We use window frames to make the windows and door frames to make the doorways. And we use cement to join them all together. Each part of the house has its own job. And when we want to build a sentence, we use the different types of word. Each type of word has its own job. Vidyarthiyo, tusi is galtota janu hi ho ki kise vi pasha de hazara shabad han. Par saareya da kam ikko jeha nahi hai. Udharan de tor te kuj shabad action da pragtao kar de han. Ate duje thing baare das de han. Kuj shabad ik duje nu jod de han. एक किसे भी पाशा दिया निर्माण करिया हन। ऐना ते कर दे एक हिस्से वजों विचार करो। जदो असी कर बनाना चांदे हा ता असी इस दा आधार तैयार करन वास्ते कंक्रीट दी वर्तों कर दे हा। दीवारा बनाने ले असी इट्टा दा इस्तेमाल कर दे हा। खिड़कियां बनाने ले असी खिड़कियां दे फ्रेम दी वर्तों कर दे हा। अते दरवाज दरवाजियां दे फ्रेम दी अते एना नु आपस विच जोड़न ले सीमेंट दी वर्तो कर दे हा मकान दे हर हिस्से दी अपनी अपनी अहमियत है अते जदो असी वाक बनांदे हा ता असी वक वक शब्दा दी वर्तो कर दे हा हर शब्द दा अपना महत्व है वी कैन कैटेगराइज इंग्लिश वर्ड्स इनटू एट बेसिक टाइप्स और क्लासेस these classes are called parts of speech. A single word can be used for different parts of speech. But before we unfold their usage, let's recapitulate the meaning of each part of speech. Parts of speech Noun Pronoun Verb Adjective Adverb Preposition Conjunction, interjection. Noun. A noun is a type of word that represents a person, thing or place like mother, apple or valley. Pronoun. A pronoun is a substitute for a noun. Some pronouns are I. Me, she, hers, he, him, it, you, they, them, etc. Verb A verb is a type of word that describes an action or a state of being like wiggle, walk, run, jump, be do, have or think. Adjective An adjective is a word that describes something, a noun. Some adjectives are big, cold, blue and silly. One special type of adjective is an article, a word that introduces a noun and also limits or clarifies it. In English, the indefinite articles are a and an. The definite article is the. Adverb An adverb is a word that tells how, when, where or how much. 
some adverbs are easily warmly quickly mainly freely often and unfortunately preposition a preposition shows how something is related to another word it shows the spatial or space temporal or time or logical relationship of an object to the rest of the sentence the words above near at by after with and from are prepositions conjunction a conjunction is a word that joins other words phrases clauses or sentences some conjunctions are and as because but or since so until and while interjection an interjection is a word that expresses emotion an interjection often starts a sentence but it can be contained within a sentence or can stand alone some interjections are oh wow uh hooray eh and ah based on what you have understood about the different parts of speech let's now find out if you can identify what part of speech is the word in yellow in the upcoming slide this is an oil painting adjective he wanted some oil for his bicycle noun he wanted to oil his bicycle verb she wanted to part her hair verb she put a part in her hair noun she is part native american adjective he went to water the grass verb she feels well adverb she drew some water from the well noun children you observed that depending on the usage in the sentence a word can be a noun verb adjective or any part of speech let's now do an exercise in which you will be able to learn about words that serve as nouns as well as verbs kujh shabad nouns and verbs dove hi ho sakde han ਇਹ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਤੇ ਨਿਰਭਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਵਾਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਅੰਡਰਲਾਈਨ ਦ ਨਾਊਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਰਕਲ ਦ ਵਰਬਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਫਲੋਇੰਗ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸਸ ਵੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਕੈਂਪ ਐਟ ਦ ਟੌਪ ਆਫ ਦ ਮਾਊਂਟੇਨ ਐਟ ਦ ਓਲਡ ਮਾਈਨਿੰਗ ਕੈਂਪ ਫਰਸਟ ਕੈਂਪ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵਰਬ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਨਾਊਨ the fish were biting so we decided to stay longer and fish some more first fish is a noun and the second is a verb the charge on the credit card was charged to the wrong person first charge is a noun and the second is a verb i will not drink that strange blue drink first drink is a verb and the second is a noun everyone on our block decided to block off the street for the party first block is a noun and the second is a verb i will cook you your favorite meal said the cook first cook is a verb and the second is a noun don't forget to lock the lock on our garage 
first clock is a verb and the second is a noun number from 1 to 10 and don't forget any of the numbers first number is a verb and the second is a noun she began to laugh and i realized that it was the loudest laugh i'd ever heard first laugh is a verb and the second is a noun when i traded with billy i knew it was a good trade first traded is a verb and the second is a noun i could smell that smell from across town first smell is a verb and the second is a noun the stress of the exam began to stress me out first stress is a noun and the second is a verb children now look at some more examples here you have a word as a verb noun adjective and adverb support noun i need your support verb please support me adjective this is my support system two worse adjective this assignment is worse than that adverb he did worse than before three better adjective this movie is better than that adverb he fared better in the test verb anna hopes to better the condition of our country noun always follow your betters for round noun i took a round of the exhibition adjective the earth is round verb the school pti was asked to round up the naughty boys adverb the teddy bear turned round preposition sia tied a bracelet round her wrist now let's check if we can do something on our own one must travel light while traveling by air here light is an adverb this clock is 10 minutes fast here fast is an adjective the speech was brief here brief is an adjective the officer was briefed about the case here briefed is a verb the bicycle cost him a thousand rupees here cost is a verb money ran fast here fast is an adverb what is your schedule here schedule is noun we can get fancy items at china bazaar here fancy is an adjective what is the cost of this toy here cost is a noun my dear children surely you would have marked how one word can be used as a noun pronoun verb adverb preposition etc they are multi purpose you see children when you were young you did opposite words now you have grown up you call them antonyms while the words with the similar meaning are called synonyms this is the nature of these words they have words similar to their meaning and opposite to their meaning with the help of these words one can write very well the more the vocabulary 
the better your writing. For example, you want to say that your friend is not sincere. What word would be the most appropriate? Insincere. What is insincere? Antonym or opposite of sincere. Sincere, insincere. Pyare vidyarthiyo, yakinan hi, tusi e mark kar sakde ho ki kive ek shabad di varto, noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, preposition adi vajo ho sakdi hai. Ena di varto, bahu udeshi torte ki ti ja sakdi hai. Vidyarthiyo, tusi vekya hovega ki jado tusi chote si, ta us sami vipreet shabda vare sikya hovega. Ate hun tusi vade hogai ho. Ate is nu antonyms de na to jan de ho. Estara saman arthi shabda nu synonyms kia janda hai. E shabda da subhav hai ki una de saman arthi shabad vi hunde han. Ate vipreet arthi shabad vi hunde han. Ena shabda di sahaita de nal koi vi bohot vadia tarike nal lik sagda hai. Vad shabdavli hovegi. ता लिखत वधिया होवेगी। उदाहरण दे तौर ते तुसी कहना चाहुंदे हो, तो हाड़ा दोस्त गंभीर नहीं है, ता इस देलाई केरा शब्द टुकमा होवेगा। इनसिंसियर, एक की है, सिंसियर दा एंटोनिम, जां ओपोजिट, सिंसियर, इनसिंसियर। We shall now look at some such words. Antonyms, found, lost. Open, close, quiet, noisy, expand, contract, absence, presence, minority, majority, disappear, appear, cheap, expensive, sharp, blunt, gentle, rough, inhale, exhale, rapid, Slow. Children, let's do an exercise now. Read the upcoming story. Rewrite the story by replacing each underlined word with a synonym from the given list of words. Write neatly and be sure all words are spelled correctly. Ice Cream Surprise my father was so tired after work, he took a nap on the couch. While he was sleeping, I quietly sneaked into the kitchen and made him an ice cream sundae. I placed it on the table next to the couch so he would see it when he woke up. An hour later, he opened his eyes and he saw the bowl of melted ice cream on the table. Even though it was melted and no longer cold, he enjoyed the snack. Let's place the synonyms now. My dad was so sleepy after work, he took a rest on the sofa. While he was napping, I softly crept into the kitchen and made him an ice cream sundae. I put it on the table next to the couch so he would notice it when he woke up. An hour later, he opened his eyes and he saw the dish of melted ice cream on the table. Even though it was melted and no longer frozen, he liked the snack. Children, synonyms are words that have almost the same meaning. Synonyms for big is large, huge, gigantic. English has lots of words with similar meaning, but sometimes they have slightly different meaning. Vidyarthiyo, synonyms o shabad hunde han, jena de arth saman hunde han. 
ਬਿਗ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਸਿਨੋਨਿਮਸ ਹਨ ਲਾਰਜ ਹਿਊਜ ਜਾਈਗੈਂਟਿਕ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਹਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਅਰਥ ਇੱਕੋ ਜਿਹੇ ਹਨ ਪਰ ਕਈ ਵਾਰ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਅਰਥ ਥੋੜੇ ਜਿਹੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਹੇਅਰ ਆਰ ਸਮ ਸਿਨੋਨਿਮਸ ਸਿਨੋਨਿਮਸ ਜਸਟ ਫੇਅਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਕਰੈਕਟ ਐਂਡ ਫਿਨਿਸ਼ ਸਟੋਪ ਕਨਕਲੂਡ ਹਿਊਜ ਬਿਗ ਇਨੋਰਮਸ leave depart permit allow fearless brave sure certain vanish disappear wrath anger refuge shelter now you can easily use one word or the other for instance you can say i took refuge under a tree or i took shelter under a tree she vanished from the scene or she disappeared from the scene now let's see whether you can use one of the pairs just done in a fill in the blank exercise madam please dash me to go home obviously the answer is permit or allow but many of these synonyms are not interchangeable for example she has big and beautiful eyes is an acceptable expression but she has huge and beautiful eyes is not done now let's do something interesting we have a very simple exercise you just have to circle the two synonyms from each set of words circle the two synonyms from each set of words toasty chilly cool comfortable two synonyms are cool and chilly walk crawl stroll run similarly walk and stroll are similar in meaning argue scare confuse frighten here scare and frighten are similar words bravery honesty courage winner the synonyms are bravery and courage cook drink eat munch the synonyms are eat and munch record paint draw sketch again the synonyms are draw and sketch children just now we drew out synonyms from a group of words that was easy because the words were there in front of you but the next exercise is going to be comparatively tougher for you you will have to supply the synonym of the words given hune hi assi shabda de samuh vichon kai synonyms kadde han eh bahut aasan san kyunki shabad tuhade samne san par is to agla abhyas tuhade layi thoda jeha mushkil ho javega tuhanu ditte gaye shabda de vichon synonyms aap samne lyaune honge write a synonym for each word what is the synonym for thin the answer is skinny thin skinny what is the synonym for store the answer is collect what is the synonym for fall the answer is drop what is the synonym for see The answer is look. What is the synonym for friendly? The answer is affable. What is the synonym for tasty? The answer is delicious. What is the synonym for silent? The answer is quiet. 
What is the synonym for smell? The answer is odor. What is the synonym for smile? The answer is grin. What is the synonym for reflect? The answer is think. What is the synonym for break? The answer is crack. Children, it is not that this exercise is good for today. It will help you in your competitions like IELTS, TOEFL, GRE, Bank and Army papers where there is a vocabulary section. So do not treat it lightly. Till now, we have dealt with words used as different parts of speech, antonyms and synonyms. All these help in the vocabulary building. And now, we have two other things to do. That is, homonyms and compound words. Vidyarthiyo, ਇਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਅੱਜ ਚੰਗਾ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੰਪੀਟੀਸ਼ਨਸ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਆਇਲਸ ਟੋਫਲ ਜੀਆਰੀ ਬੈਂਕ ਅਤੇ ਫੌਜ ਦੇ ਪੇਪਰਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਆਵੇਗਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਵੋਕੈਬਲਰੀ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਐਵੇਂ ਨਾ ਸਮਝੋ ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਪੀਚ ਦੇ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਹਿੱਸਿਆਂ ਵਜੋਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਐਂਟੋਨਿਮਸ ਅਤੇ ਸਿਨੋਨਿਮਸ ਵਜੋਂ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਿਆ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਹੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਵੋਕੈਬਲਰੀ ਵਧਾਉਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਦਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਅਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੋ ਹੋਰ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਕਰਨੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਹਨ ਹੋਮੋਨਿਮਸ ਅਤੇ ਕੰਪਾਉਂਡ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਹਰਡ ਆਫ ਹੋਮੋਨਿਮਸ ਹੋਮੋਨਿਮਸ ਆਰ ਵਰਡਸ ਵਿਚ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਸਿਮਿਲਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਨਾਂਸੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਸਪੈਲਿੰਗਸ ਐਂਡ ਮੀਨਿੰਗਸ ਫੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਫੇਅਰ ਵਿਚ ਮੀਨਸ white complexioned as in the given sentence fair my daughter is very fair fair i went to the besaki fair fair rent i paid 60 rupees as taxi fare from bus stand to complex fair do How did you fare in the exams? All the four words are pronounced fair, but their meaning is different. First one means white complexioned. Second one means a mela or a village festival. Third is rent and fourth is to do. If one knows the meaning of all these, it helps in understanding a passage with the context sare char shabda da uchcharan ikko jeha hai par inna de arth alag alag han pehle da arth hai white complexion matlab ki us da rang saaf hai dujje da arth hai ik mela ja ik pind da tyohar tija kiraya hai ate chautha karna je kise nu inna saryan de arthan bare pata hovega ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰਸੰਗ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਸ ਪੈਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਹੀਅਰ ਆਰ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਹੋਮੋਨਿਮਸ ਹੋਮੋਨਿਮਸ ਏਅਰ ਅਲਾਊਡ ਏਟ ਬਰਥ ਬਲੂ ਬੋਰਡ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਹੈ मेल, कैरेट, हिम। माय डियर चिल्ड्रन, द नॉलेज अबाउट द होमोनिम्स इज वंडरफुल। इफ यू डू नॉट हैव दिस नॉलेज, यू विल एंड अप राइटिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस। आई एट टू बिस्किट्स इन प्लेस ऑफ आई एट टू बिस्किट्स, और यू आर ग्रेट इन प्लेस ऑफ यू आर ग्रेट। funny isn't it so it is essential to know the words their spellings their meanings to write properly and another aspect of the words that is compound words these words are formed by joining two different words see this see 
plus food equals to seafood. So this is sea plus another word food, which makes it a compound word seafood. Similarly, we have rain plus coat equal to raincoat. Basket plus ball would be basketball. Snow plus fall would result into snowfall. Butter plus fly equals to butterfly. Camp plus fire would read as campfire. I hope you have thoroughly understood nature of words and enjoyed it. Dear children, with this we have come to the end of the module. When you go home today, try to revise what we have learned today. See you next time. Until then, goodbye.